Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this video today is for teachers who have made their homepage and feel pretty comfortable. It looks good, looks pretty, and now you're ready to start adding your course content. And um, you're kind of wondering, now that I've got it to look good, how am I going to teach using this platform? And so uh, there's a really simple answer to that for teaching online, and that's to use something called a learning map. So today I'm going to take you to the module that I've created for learning maps. And I'm basically going to show you a way that you can teach on campus. Um, this learning map module I'll put on Commons so that you can go ahead and download it. And it has all the templates so you can plug in your stuff and basically start designing your content right away. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So what is a learning map? You want to think of a learning map as a home page for your unit. So when we teach, we teach like with objectives. I want teachers to be able to design and deliver highly effective content using Canvas. Or students will be able to write an argument essay. We've got a standard that we're trying to teach. And so the learning map basically puts like your unit plan for that standard all in one home page and it's all clickable for the kids. So I'm going to show you one that's already done and then we'll kind of go through the template. Okay, here's a learning map that's completed. This is your unit plan for the kids. Let's say that you need to teach your kids um, the consequences of invasive species. We're looking at maybe a science lesson here. Okay, so you've got a banner that says what your lesson is. And then your learning goal comes next. Students will be able to recognize the consequences of invasive species on the habitat. If they're not sure what invasive species is, they can click on it and it's going to take them to information where you define some of the words in your standards. So here I use the National Wildlife Federation um, to basically define invasive species for them. All right, now we're gonna go back to our learning map. The next section of a learning map has a sneak peek. Okay, these two, learning goal and sneak peek, the kids do on their own time. So usually I have something to hook the student, um, which I've got a little meme here, and then something to activate their prior knowledge. So this is an Invasive Species 101, which is probably going to be information that they're somewhat familiar with. So I tell them the goal of the lesson, a little joke to get them interested, a hook, and then I activate their prior knowledge. Once they've done that on their own, now they're ready for your live lesson. In this section of the learning map, you put the time and the date of when your live lesson is going to be, and maybe a little bit about what you're going to do during that live lesson, like it's a little bit of a teaser. So this one's about invasive species, and I put our link to our Zoom class and what time, and then I just said like, Hi class, I can't wait to discuss invasive species with you. We're going to learn about lionfish and how they're destroying the East Coast. And we're also going to learn about pythons and how they're killing every mammal in the Everglades. It's awful. Log in on time because the first thing we're going to do is watch this video of an invasive python exploding because he ate an alligator. Yeah, that happened. And then I've got a little video teaser that I might be doing um, going over with the live lesson. But in the live lesson portion, you teach how you would normally teach. You com combine lecture with breakout rooms, with um, video segments. This part is how we would normally do it in class. Then when they get to the practice part, they're back to doing it on their own. So in the practice is where they're going to demonstrate what you've learned during the live lesson. They're going to take that knowledge and do something with it. And it's a great place for a choice board. So here they have to explain invasive species to somebody and convince them why they should kind of take action sort of thing. So they can either choose to do a PowerPoint, a Canva infographic, a TED Talk speech, or write a letter to the governor. So they're just, they got different options based on their learning styles. And then the gallery section of your learning map is super important because the kids need to know that somebody is looking at the work that they're doing online. You know, when we're in person, we can hang it up on a bulletin board. But online, it's kind of like they do the work and there's very little feedback. And we know that good teaching, feedback is critical. So the gallery is just a discussion board where they're gonna post up their work. 
and then the student's responsibility is to post it up, take a tour of who else posted in there, and then write three positive comments on other people's work. So it just makes it um, instant feedback. Okay, and then you've got a level up, which is like your extension activity. Here for our level up, we're going to follow this lesson up with another uh, live lesson Zoom, but we've invited a guest speaker, and that guest speaker is going to be doing a dissection of um, the invasive lionfish. Okay, and then a little bit of information about the guest speaker and what her team is doing in marine biology. So that would be the home page for my lesson. And that would be kind of the outline of how I'm going to teach them this standard that students will be able to recognize the consequences of the loss of biodiversity because of invasive species. Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and back up and take a look at what else is in this module. Okay, this module contains a template. The template details every section of what should go in that section of the learning map. So it gives you, again, a banner because your learning map should have a banner that matches what the lesson is, and then the sections. And so it tells you specifically ideas, how you can um, expand each section, what kind of variety can you put in there. And I've kind of just explained it all for you guys. And then if we back up again, I've got a blank one in here so that you can start putting in your learning content right away. So you can just change your banner out, and I'll put um, my Canva link so you can change the colors, change the text, change what it wants to say. But then you have the buttons there, or you can also, you know, I'll put the buttons in there too so you can edit the buttons. So you can edit the learning map, but you know what sections are there, you know what's supposed to go in each section, and you can start creating your own content. Um, and then I'm going to back up one more time, and I'm going to show you how to download this module so that you can put it into your course. All right, so let's go to the home page. Okay, and to download anything from Commons, and there's really a lot of good stuff in there, you're gonna go to your home page and you're gonna choose Import from Commons. Now to get this module for me, you're just gonna type my name into the search bar. And my name is Angela Lawrence, L-A-W-R-E-N-C-E. And it's how to teach using learning maps. And so we'll click on that. And then you're going to come over to the right and you're going to choose import download. So you do import download and then you pick which class you want to put it in. Scroll down and choose import into course. And that's it. In a couple minutes you'll be able to go ahead and Get onto a learning map and start editing it and put your content in. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Before you go, I'd like you to go ahead and subscribe if you don't mind because I'm going to put out um, more effective strategies for teaching online. I know a lot of people on this Teachers for Canvas group are expert veteran teachers and it's just your first time on Canvas. So I just want to give you some of the things that I've learned along the way that make it easier because you already know how to teach. Now it's just some little tips and tricks to making it um, so you feel like a better ink again when you're on Canvas. Okay, thank you guys for so much for listening, and thank you for subscribing, and uh, look for my next video coming out soon. Bye-bye.